marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching, marching, we are marching, oh, we are marching in the light of God. We are marching, marching, we are marching, oh, we are marching in the light of God. We are living in the love of God. We are living in the love of God. We are living in the love of God. Good morning boys and girls. Welcome to another Sunday service. I'm Teacher Betty. I'm Teacher Queen. And this is Teacher Dan. Before we begin, there's a child at home who wants to start us off with a word of prayer. Okay. Let us pray. Let's bow down for a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we come to you this morning, Lord. For we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for good health. Please end this COVID-19 pandemic. Bless our family members wherever they are. Bless our teachers. Bless our school and bless our friends. Forgive us our sins and cleanse our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray in believing and trusting. Amen. Amen. And now let's continue with our worship with song. Teacher Dan. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there is a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide. Deep and wide, there is a fountain flowing deep and wide. Wide and deep, wide and deep, there is a fountain flowing wide and deep. Wide and deep, wide and deep, there is a fountain flowing wide and deep. Deep and wide. Deep and wide there is a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide there is a fountain flowing deep and wide. I want to thank God for the way my daughter Queen has grown. And in our next song, it is our prayer that God will help each and every one of you to grow in his wisdom and stature. Read your Bible and pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible and pray every day if you want to grow. If you want to grow. If you want to grow. Read your Bible and pray every day if you want to grow. Read your Bible and pray every day pray every day pray every day read your bible and pray every day if you want to grow if you want to grow if you want to grow read your bible and pray every day if you want to Indeed, that is the way to grow. You read your Bible and pray every day. Let us see who grew this week by celebrating their birthdays, their children at home, waiting to celebrate with them and sing for them a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May 
Thank you so much. That was wonderful singing. And I hope the ones who celebrated their birthdays enjoyed the good melodies. It is now time for our lesson. Last Sunday, Teacher Agnes and Teacher Anne taught about Joseph. And Teacher Queen today will continue with the lesson. Welcome, Teacher Queen. Thank you, Teacher Betty. Today's story comes from Genesis chapter 37 verses 16 all the way to 36 and it continues on from chapter 39 from verses 1 to 5. I hope you guys remembered your last lesson. Do you remember what happened? Let me give you a short breakdown. Remember Joseph has 11 other brothers. Do you remember why they didn't like him? They didn't like him because one, he was his father's favorite child. Two, he had dreams, and the dreams said that they would bow down to him, but they didn't like that. And as you know, Joseph was sent out to go look for their brothers so that he can tell if they're safe. Now, Joseph was walking. It was a very long journey and very dangerous too. And when he got there, he saw his brothers lying down in a distance. In the meantime, his brothers were relaxing, eating food, enjoying themselves, when one of them spotted someone in the distance. One of them asked, who is that man? Do you see who that is? One replied, oh, it's the dreamer. You would think they would be happy that Joseph came all that way to come and see if they were safe, but instead, they decided to be mean. They decided to think of something so despicable. They were planning of how to kill him. But then one of the brothers, named Reuben, he loved Joseph, and he didn't want his brother to die, but he didn't even want to be made fun of his other brothers either. So what did he do? He suggested, why don't we just throw him down a well? And they were cheered and said, yes, we should probably do that. So as Joseph comes up, panting, trying to check if their brother is fine, they rip his coat and throw him down a well. How would you feel? Wouldn't you feel sad? Joseph was so sad. He didn't understand why and he felt so alone. He was like, why would my brothers do this to me? But little did he know that Reuben was planning to come back and pick him from the well and take him back home. However, while they continued eating their food, while they laughed at Joseph in the well, they saw traders going on their way to Egypt. One of the brothers called Judah suggested, why don't we get rid of him completely? We can sell him and he will never disturb us again, and we can live in peace. So, they brought him out of the well and sold him. Can you believe it? They just picked him and sold him. And now, Joseph was on his way to Egypt. Reuben had no idea that this was going to happen. And when he found out, he was devastated. So devastated that he tore his own clothes. But now, they had to explain this to their dad. They had to come up with an explanation as to where Joseph went. So what do you think they did? They got his coat, ripped it, and dipped it in animal's blood. And they went back home and they lied. They said, oh dad, father, Joseph was killed by an animal on his way to come and visit us. And his father was heartbroken. Meanwhile, in Egypt, Joseph felt alone. He didn't feel loved. His very own family sold him, gave him away. He was alone because he was in a foreign land, far from home. He didn't know anybody. He couldn't even speak their language. But he had someone, 
someone who loved him and looked over him. Do you know who it is? It's God. God said he was with him and he was always with him during this journey. God was with him to the point that when he was sold, he was bought by a man called Potiphar. Now this man Potiphar was a general and had a magnificent house and he bought Joseph and Joseph started working for him. How do we see God helping him and looking after him during this time? He listened to Potiphar, Joseph, and doing so, he became a blessing to the household. And Potiphar saw this and was like, wow, this man is a man of God, God is with you, and appointed him head of the house. Even though Joseph went through all this hard time, he came on top. He was given responsibilities and he was not treated as a slave boy because God took care of him. He did what was right. He obeyed Potiphar in the rules and the things, tasks he was given. And in doing so, God blessed him. And in blessing him, he blessed those around him. And even though he was in trouble, he came back on top. So what I'm trying to tell you, my dear children, is it doesn't matter the circumstances, God loves you. Even when you're by yourself, even if your friend doesn't want to be your friend anymore, it's okay because God sees you and loves you for who you are. Some people will even just not like you for no reason. And that's sad. But guess what? God will always love you. God is always there. And if you love and trust in him, you will always come on top, like Joseph. And I hope you understood and enjoyed today's lesson and uh, know how you can apply this to every day. So remember, God loves you very much and always trust in him. And today's memory verse is Psalms 46, 1. And it says, God is my refuge and my strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Psalms 46, 1. It says, God is my refuge and my strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Thank you, Teacher Queen. We have had the way God took care of Joseph. Everything the brothers did to him was meant to harm him, but God used the negative around him for his own glory. And we know that God loved Joseph as God loves us every day. So let us sing Jesus loves us and this we know. loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. 
I hope today's lesson was a blessing to all of us. I am going to teach you a small prayer that you can say every day. Please repeat after me. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the gift of life. For the gift of life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the gift of good health. For the gift of good health. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For you provide for us. For you provide for us. Everything that we need. Everything that we need. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For a loving family that you have given us. For a loving family that you have given us. And above all. And above all. Thank you. Thank for you. For you love us most. For your love most. We pray this. We pray this. Believing and trusting in your holy name. Believing and trusting in your holy name. Amen. Amen. That is a good prayer. You can pray it every day. Yes. Because we know with this coronavirus going on, it is a privilege to be alive. Yes. And we thank God for the gift of life. Queen and I and Teacher Dan, we are here because God has given us the best gift of all. Yes. The gift of life. Thank you. Thank you. See you next Sunday. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to pray. Read your Bible and you will grow. <laughs>